Uh, Mr. Chandra Kumar Bose, to you first. What did you make of the Prime Minister's comments? A lot of fulsome praise uh, for, for Netaji in particular and uh, what he said would have been a very different India if we had gone his way. What did you think of that? Yes, I think uh, the Prime Minister made certain valid observations. Uh, we really welcome this move that Netaji's uh, statue stands tall overlooking the India gates inside the canopy which was vacated in 1968 by King George V statue. But I think we need to understand Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose was never ignored. 135 crore people, 135 crore people, Netaji is in their heart and soul. Maybe successive governments may have ignored, but that really didn't bother Netaji's charisma, his personality, gigantic personality, which is always there with the people of our nation. Now, I think today it was a very great occasion. We fully support this, that Netaji's statue was unveiled. But I think it is more important to understand Netaji the man. The man who stood for communal harmony, the only leader who could unite all communities as Bharatiyas. I think this is extremely relevant. You know, in the freedom movement, there were many who contributed right from 1857 onwards to up to 1947. But in today's context, there is very little relevance that we can find from these personalities. But Shubhash Chandra Bose is absolutely extremely relevant in today's 21st century India because what we find is divisive politics, communalism, vote bank politics, this must stop. If you really want to honor, today we have honored Subhash Chandra Bose. It's a great symbolism that his statue has been unveiled at India Gate. But if you really want to honor this man, you must understand his concept. The concept of Bharat that he showed, that well, you well, unite all communities as Bharatiyas. You see, in the Azad in port, a, 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 a pretty, a pretty speak, strong in message. the Azad in port, so, there was not a single Muslim. Right. There was not a single Muslim, not a single Hindu, Christian, Bodha, Jain or Sikh. They were Bharatiyas. Subhash Chandra Bose could establish them as Bharatiyas to fight for India's freedom. I think today we are not fighting for freedom, but we have still not got social and economic freedom. Netaji wanted political, social and economic freedom. We are a far cry away from Netaji's India, Netaji's vision of India, of well, eradicating I think, illiteracy and I think that's been very poverty. eloquently put Today, by you, you very eloquently put population. by you, Mr. Bose. And, I, and, and, you know, and, and you know how you have sort of presented that as into what Netaji's vision actually would be in these times.